Hello and welcome back to this channel. This is Professor Rajesh Varapte, a book author of 25 plus engineering books. Dear students, today's topic is mutual inductance. It is related to the subject basic electrical engineering for first year students. So let us start the topic. First we will discuss the concept of mutual inductance. I have considered two coils, coil A containing N1 number of turns, coil B containing N2 number of turns. Coil A is connected to the battery or voltage source V and one variable resistance, this symbol indicates the resistance is variable, one variable resistance is connected. Initially, this resistance is fixed due to applied voltage, the current is developed and some electric flux that is phi1 is developed in coil A. It is called as the in uh, developed flux for coil A. Next part, some of the flux which is developed across coil A gets passed through coil B as shown with this, by these red dotted lines. This is called as mutual flux whereas this flux phi1 is called as self-induced flux. Phi2 is called as mutual flux because this is the flux which is obtained from the coil A now, this is a variable resistance. If we vary this resistance, current passing through the coil will change. Due to change in current, the flux linkage with coil uh, A, that is phi1 will also change. Similarly, flux linkage in another coil, which is called as a mutual flux, phi2 will also change now. According to the Faraday's law, whenever there is a change in flux, an EMF is induced. EMF is electromotive force. So, this induced EMF is called as mutually induced EMF. Now, due to this mutually induced EMF, which is some kind of voltage, some current starts flowing in coil 2 and that current is measured by this ammeter. Now, let us discuss the definition. The change in current through one coil, that means this was the main coil uh, for which we have connected a voltage source and variable resistance. So if this current is changed, so change in current through one coil develops induced EMF in the another coil. This produces some kind of uh, EMF in the another coil and this phenomena is called as mutual inductance. Now we will solve few numericals to get an idea of this concept. We will solve the numerical. Dear students, if you haven't yet watched earlier videos related to this unit, so do watch those videos. I will provide the links in the description box. Presently, we are solving numericals for mutual inductance. I have made a separate list of formulae. Only this list of formulae is sufficient to solve any numerical. L is the inductance, N number of turns, phi flux, I is the current. Flux linkage. Flux linkage means some flux lines are produced in coil A. They get linked in coil B. Just now we discussed the concept. It is called as flux linkage in coil B. Suppose there are two coils, coil A and coil B. So flux linkage in coil B is phi B is equals to K into phi A. K is called as coefficient of coupling. So K into phi A. All these concepts will be more clear when we solve this numerical. Then induced EMF is E which is minus N D phi by DT. Phi is flux. So D by DT is rate of change of flux into minus N. N represents the number of terms. Coefficient of coupling K is given by M. M is the mutual inductance. We have already discussed this concept of mutual inductance. Divided by under root of L A L B. L means self inductance of coil A. L B is self inductance of coil B. Now, question is two coils A and B have 700 and 600 turns respectively. As I mentioned in earlier videos, while reading the question itself, be habituated of writing the values in terms of notations. So I have two coils A and B, number of turns are 700 and 600. So I will write it like this, NA, number of turns for coil A is 700, NB, number of turns for coil B, 600. A current of 10 amperes in coil A, this current is the current flowing in coil A. So I will denote it by IA, which is equals to 10 amperes. I is current, A stands for, this is the current flowing through coil A. Produces a flux of 0.04 Weber's. Do remember this 0.04 Weber flux is in coil A only. 
So this will be denoted by phi a, which is 0 0.04 Weber. Weber is the unit of flux. If coefficient of coupling, coefficient of coupling is denoted by k, which is 0 0.2. Calculate first part self inductance of coil A when coil B is open. Very clear, coil B is open, that means as if only one coil is there, that is coil A. This is the formula of self inductance. So for coil A, I will write it like this LA, that is self inductance of coil A, which is equals to NA phi A upon IA. Very simple. I am using this formula. Since it is for coil A, I have written the suffix as LA is NA phi A upon IA. Simply put the values. So NA, number of turns of coil A, 700. Phi A, flux in coil A, 0.04 divided by IA. Current in coil A is 10 amperes. If you solve this on the calculator, this answer will be 2.8. Since it is the L, L is the Self inductance, it's since it is inductance, its unit is Henry's. This is first part. So we did the calculation of first part. Second part. In the second part, what is asked? Flux linkage with coil B. This is the formula of flux linkage. Flux linkage in coil B is given by phi B is equals to K into phi A. K is coefficient of coupling, which is given in the question. So it is 0.2 into phi a value of phi a is also given in the question it is 0.04 if you perform this multiplication this answer will be 8 into 10 raised to minus 3 webers you can well write this as 8 milli webers because one weber is 10 raised to uh, minus 3 uh, milli so i will write it like this 8 milli webers so it is 8 into 10 raised to minus 3 papers. Third part. In the third part, we need to calculate mutual inductance. Now see, you don't have to mug up uh, unnecessary extra formulae. We have the formula of self-inductance. It is L is N phi upon I. From the same formula, I can generate the formula for mutual inductance. Mutual inductance is denoted by M, which is, we have discussed the concept of mutual inductance. What is mutual inductance? Some of the flux gets linked in another coil. If current in first coil changes, the EMF is induced in the second coil and because of which mutual inductance is produced. So it is given by, this is the formula of self-inductance. For mutual inductance, I will write it like this, NB phi B. Why in the numerator NB phi B? Because mutual inductance is the inductance produced in second coil. So it is NB phi B upon I A. This is not I B. This is the current flowing in coil A. Very simple. Mutual inductance is produced due to the change in current in coil A, not due to any current in coil B. So in the denominator, basic formula is N phi upon I. So in the numerator, N B phi B. Number of turns for coil B, num, uh, flux linkage in coil B divided by current in a coil A. Because of this current in coil A only, there is a mutual inductance in coil B. So we will simply put the values. So it is NB, value of NB is 600, phi B, we have calculated in the earlier step. So it is 8 into 10 raised to minus 3 upon IA, value of IA is also given in the question. It is 10 amperes. So value of mutual inductance is 0.48. Since it is inductance, its unit is Henry's. So I will write its unit as Henry's. This is the third part. Now, fourth part. What is asked in the fourth part? It is asked to calculate EMF induced in coil B when flux linkage changes from 0 to final value in 0.02 seconds. Now, we have to calculate EMF induced. So we have the direct formula of induced EMF. First I will write the formula. E is minus N D phi by DT. Now, this formula I am using minus N D phi by DT. N represents number of turns. Number of turns. See, this is EMF induced in coil B. So I will write this as N B. Read the question carefully. It is EMF induced in coil B. So number of turns for coil B d phi by dt similarly i will write this as d phi b by dt because this is the flux uh, linked with 
while b when flux linkage changes from zero to final value what was the final value just now we calculated the final value of flux linkage this final value was 5b final was 8 milli webers that is 8 into 10 raised to 3 webers this we have already calculated in earlier part and time is given as rather this is denoted by dt dt is 0.02 seconds now how to make use of this formula first i will write nv is directly given value of d5b d5b indicates what d means change phi means a change in flux linked with coil b so this is basically final value of flux minus initial value of flux <coughs> read the question emf induced in coil b when flux linkage changes from zero to final value zero to final value final value is this value 8 into 10 raised to minus 3 so zero to final value so final value I will put the values that is 8 into 10 raised to minus 3. This is the final value minus initial value is 0 because it was changed from 0. 0 was the initial value to final value. D5 is final minus initial. So it is 8 into 10 raised to minus 3 minus 0. That is 8 into 10 raised to minus 3. So simply we will put the values in this formula. So it is E is equals to minus NB. NB number of turns for coil B which is given in the question. So, number of turns in coil B is 600 into this minus sign will remain as it is D5B. It is 8 into 10 raised to minus 3. DT, DT is change in time which is 0 0.02. You just have to do the calculations on the calculator. So, this answer will be minus 240. It is the mutually induced EMF. EMF is same as voltage. So its unit is Holt. Now let us solve one more numerical of different kind so that this concept will be more clear to you. The next question is two coils A and B. There are two coils A and B. Two coils A of 12,000 turns. So like the previous sum, while reading numerical itself, go on writing it in terms of notation. So, NA, number of turns for coil A, 12,000. For coil B, number of turns are 15,000. So, NB is 15,000. Lie in parallel plane such that 60% of flux from A links with B. Now, this is very important part. Flux is denoted by phi. If I want to write equation of flux in phi uh, in coil b that is phi b which is 60 percent of flux from a so it will be 60 percent of phi a that is same as 0 0.65 a 60 percent is 0 0.6 so this is the equation in terms of equation of phi b flux in coil b in terms of flux in coil a this i have written from this given information Current of 5 ampere in coil A. So it is denoted by IA which is 5 ampere. Produces flux of 0 0.05 milliweber. So it is 5A because it is flux in coil A. So it is 0 0.05 milliweber is given. So naturally I need to convert it in terms of webers. That is 10 raised to minus 3 webers. This is 5A. While same current in coil B, same current means IB that is 5 ampere. Same current in coil B produces flux of 0.075 milliweber. So it is 5B which is equals to uh, 0.075 milliweber means into 10 raised to minus 3 webers. Then first part, find self inductance of each coil. Now. This is the formula to calculate self-inductance. It is L is N phi upon I. For each coil, I need to calculate it. So for first coil, say it is LA, which is written as NA phi A upon IA. Very simple. I have made use of this formula. Only it is uh, the calculation for coil A. So I have written suffix as A. So it is 12,000 into phi A, value of phi A. It is given in the question that is 0 0.05 into 10 raised to minus 3 upon IA. Value of IA is given. It is 5 ampere. So if you do these calculations on the calculator, this value will be 
0.12 since it is inductance its unit is hindrance this is the flux linkage in coil a same way i have to calculate self inductance of coil b similar formula nb phi b upon ib on the same lines you just have to put the values so nb number of turns of coil b 15000 into 5b value of 5b is given 0.075 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by ib same current is mentioned so it is 5 ampere if you solve this you will get the answer 0.225 hendrys this is the answer of first part we did the calculation of self inductance of each coil now second part in the second part we have to do the calculation of mutual inductance <clears throat> mutual inductance like the last sum just memorize only one formula from this how to generate the mutual inductance like the previous sum mutual inductance is denoted by m which is equals to this is the basic formula n phi upon i since it is a mutual inductance it is n b phi b upon i a presently in both the coils same current is mentioned but this is the actual formula now here we have to make use of this condition phi b for mutual inductance is given as 60% of phi a so first i will be putting value of nb nb is 15000 into this is 15000 into phi b is 0.6 into phi a phi a is given in the question which is Point not five into ten raised to minus three. This is for the mutual inductance. Do remember, we are calculating mutual inductance, so we have to consider this concept uh, that sixty percent flux from five A links with five B divided by I A value of I A is five. So if you solve this, you will get the answer of mutual inductance that is M is equals to point. 09 hendrys it is inductance so basic unit is hendrys now the last part coefficient of coupling we have the direct formula k is m upon la square root of la into lb so coefficient of coupling k is m upon under root of la lb simply put the values m we have already calculated it is 0.09 divided by under root of values of la and lb we have previously calculated it is 0.12 into 0.225 do this calculation on the calculator so this answer will be 0.5477 this is the value of coefficient of coupling that is value of k dear students i have made the list of only applicable formulae which are applicable for solving the numericals there are again some extra formulae but those are not at all required as far as numericals are concerned if you just memorize this formulae you can solve any numerical related to mutual inductance so that's it for today's uh, session thanks for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to smash the like button thank you very much